Hi everybody. In this video, I want to talk about the lesser known ChatFuel AI features. I will show you what they do and how you can use them to step up your social media game. So if you're wondering if you can use AI chatbots to encourage people to take action in your socials, this video is for you. I'm talking getting more people to comment. I'm talking new leads connecting with your business. I'm talking repeat sales and more loyal customers. And don't worry if you've never worked with ChatFuel before. I'll do a recap and I'll show you how the main AI features work before getting into more advanced stuff. My name is Metro and let's begin. Here's what you need to know about chatbots for now. There are two main ways a chatbot works, based on rules and based on keywords. Rules determine what happens after a user chooses option A, B, C, or X. Uh, think of a text-based game where each choice a player makes determines what happens next. Keywords are words and phrases that people send to your bot, which in turn gives a pre-configured reply or triggers a set of actions. Kind of like a sales manager with a script with pre-made answers for questions a customer might have. You can build a rule-only bot or an AI-only bot, but for best results, you want to be combining both. Leave a comment below to let me know what features you want to learn more about next. And now, let's talk AI. Number one, keywords. After you log into chat, you'll link in the description, of course, go to the keywords tab. The keywords tab is a place where you add words or phrases and then set up responses to them. This is most useful in situations where you know how the conversation will start or you want your users to start the conversation how you want it. For example, let's create a simple chatbot that sends a promo code to a specific hashtag. Go to keyword groups and add a new one. I'm going to name it promo campaign and add 15 off as my hashtag. Then I'm going to set up a response. Now when somebody sends me this hashtag, they'll instantly get their discount, which ultimately brings me more new clients. Number two, AI rules. You now know that keywords are used to trigger responses, but there are also some rules you can use to change the way your bot reacts to keywords. There are three rules to choose from. Rule number one, match. It's used for very precise keywords. A promo code is a good example. Let's say you want to offer a discount, but only to people with a certain keyword, sort of like a password. If the password matches, they'll get a code. If it doesn't, then no bueno. Rule number two, contains. This rule is great for reacting to urging situations. It looks for a specific word anywhere in the message. So if your customer mentions words like refund or cancel, you can react quickly and solve the crisis. Rule number three, similar to. This last rule reacts to keywords with general meaning. It's helpful in situations where you know what the user is asking, but you're not sure which specific words they'll use. Add a bunch of keywords with similar meaning to point the AI towards what to look for. Number three. Flow Builder. Next up, let's expand beyond text responses. I'm going to show you how to respond to keywords with more flair. Remember how I told you about the two types of chatbots, keyword-based and rule-based? Well, in the Keywords tab, we explored how keyword-based chatbots work. Flows is where I'll show you how to combine keyword-based logic with rule-based logic. I created a step-by-step -step flow conversation scenario for our previous promo code example. This time, I'm asking for the phone number first instead of responding right away with the promo code, just to be sure I don't lose any potential clients. If you want to copy my flow, well, I'm going to leave a link for this template in the description below. Or you can slow down this part of the video and recreate the flow yourself. So we're back to the keywords tab and to our 15% off offering. And now I'm going to connect the flow that I created with the phone number to this hashtag. Switch from text to block or flow. It might say flow in your case. That's fine. Type in the name of my flow. There it is. 15 off flow and done. Now when the user sends 15 off keyword, 
they'll get their promo code, I'll get my lead, and the sales team can follow up on it. Number four, comments auto reply. Besides the keyword step, you can use keywords in some flow builder blocks for more subtle tasks. The greatest example of this is the comments auto reply feature. It lets you create keyword groups for very specific situations where you want flexibility. Both public and private replies are available. You can like comments and set up a delay between a comment and the response. Here's an example on how to increase engagement on your page. Make a post asking people to say what season they like the most, winter, spring, summer or fall. Then add keywords with possible answers and then add some cards with content. In my case, I added a quote for each one. Now your bot has several reactions based on what the commenters will say. Such posts increase customer loyalty, plus tell algorithms to show more of your content in the future. Hot tip. You can actually use the comments auto reply feature for scheduled posts. So set everything up the night before, and once the post is up, your bot will start reacting on its own. You can sleep tight. Number five, personalization. Chatbots allow to provide more personalized experience based on the info the customers provide. Things like their name, preferences, size, and such. I'm gonna show you how to add a bit of a personal touch to our previous example. So we're back to our engagement post. I, now I want my bot to address a person by name if that person had a contact with my bot before. To do that, I'm gonna use attributes. Now, in a nutshell, an attribute is any piece of information, kind of like a record in a CRM system. So I'm gonna add a first name attribute to address a person by name. To do that, you can type a curly bracket twice, like so, and choose an attribute or simply click here. This is a very simple but yet effective way to increase customer loyalty. One thing that often gets overlooked is this chat box here. When enabled, it allows you to set two different scenarios for new and existing customers. For example, you can make a post and send every customer that you have had a contact with before to a loyalty program flow and every new customer to a lead generation flow, which is pretty neat, huh? Number six, conditions. In the last example, I used the first name attribute to display user's name within the message, but there are more complex things you can go for beyond just displaying information. Q condition. This plugin allows you to send customers via different paths based on the information you know about them. I'll demonstrate this with an example. Let's start the same. Add a keyword group, add a promo code, and connect it to a flow. Next, add a condition plugin and create two separate paths, one for customers who have used this promo code and one for customers who didn't do it yet. Now, you're able to encourage new customers to buy and at the same time, offer something else for customers who have used the code already. Number seven, unrecognized messages. When you start using the chatbot, it might be difficult to predict what messages people are gonna send you exactly Unrecognized messages exist just for that. It's the list of messages your bot gets the most. Keep monitoring this list to gain insight into what your customers want and to keep improving your responses. Needless to say, an active chatbot lets you dig into user pains and help them solve their problems. What features did you find the most useful? Are you excited to try any of them? All of the features I showed in this video are included in every chat fuel plan, including the free one. So sign up today and try for yourself. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.